When you think of pickup trucks, you probably think of American brands like Ford, Chevy, and Ram. But Toyota too has been making pickup trucks for a long time. While it certainly doesn't outsell its American competitors, Toyota still sold 118,000 Tundras last year. In this review we will discuss all the trims of the Tundra, including the SR, SR5, Limited, Platinum, and the 1794 edition. We will also cover all the specs, as well as the various bed and cab configurations available. So let's go ahead and see how the Tundra stacks up. like to specially thank Toyota on Nicholasville for allowing us to come out and film this review. If you would like to check out their dealership and massive inventory of all the Toyota models, a link to their website has been provided in the video description. All Toyota Tundras have remote keyless entry. It comes on a separate key fob that for some reason wasn't attached when we got the key. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. The Tundra has an all-V8 engine lineup that carries over from last year. The base engine on most SR and SR5 configurations is a 4.6 liter V8, which produces 310 horsepower and 327 pound-feet of torque. The other engine is a more powerful 5.7 liter V8, which produces 381 horsepower and 401 pound-feet of torque. This V8 is standard on the Limited and above, and optional on the two lower trims. Every trim gets a 6-speed automatic transmission regardless of engine. Every trim can also be had in rear or four-wheel drive. Many vehicles are seeing decreased fuel economy for 2017 due to stricter EPA testing, but the Tundra is not one of them. The fuel economies are identical to last year's, which means the 4.6 liter V8 gets 15 city, 19 highway, 16 combined for the 4x2 and 14 city, 18 highway, 16 combined for the 4x4. The 5.7 liter V8 gets very similar fuel economy. At 13 city, 18 highway, 15 combined for the rear wheel drive model, and 13 city, 17 highway, 15 combined for the four wheel drive model. Let's check out the exterior design and features. The Tundra remains the same design-wise for 2017, besides for three new exterior colors. Up front you've got the typical brawny truck looks. The grille is different depending on what trim level you select. Our Platinum and the Limited get this grille design, while the SR gets a black grille and the SR5 and the 1794 share this grille. The headlights are halogens on every Tundra. The two highest end models gain LED daytime running lights, though every trim does get daytime running lights. All trims except the SR get standard fog lamps. This bumper is body colored only on the platinum grade. The Tundra has several different wheel designs. The Platinum and 1794 share these 20-inch premium 6-spoke alloy wheels. 
The Limited gets its own 20-inch split 5-spoke alloy wheels, while the SR and SR5 share these 18-inch stylized steel wheels. All Tundras have 13.9-inch ventilated disc brakes in the front and 13.6-inch ventilated disc brakes in the rear. Most models have all-season tires, though off-road tires are available by opting for the TRD off-road package. All Tundras get power-heated outside mirrors. They are chrome on most models, and they are also auto-dimming and power-folding on the 1794 and Platinum. On those two models, you also get blind spot monitoring standard. These running boards are optional on every trim for $625. You can get the Tundra in a variety of configurations to fit your needs. It can be had in a two-door regular cab, a double cab with small rear doors, and a full-size four-door Crewmax configuration. The beds can also be had in three different sizes, a 5.5 foot short bed, a 6.5 foot regular bed, or a 8.1 foot long bed. The Crewmax cab configuration, like we have here, only comes with a short bed. The Platinum and 1794 edition must be had in this configuration. In regards to safety, the Tundra is a bit of a mixed bag. It scored good on most of the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety Test, but it scored only marginal on the small front overlap and acceptable on the roof strength test. Coming around back, you'll see the traditional truck looks. Toyota is spelled out, and Tundra is engraved into the tailgate. LED taillights are not available. The exhaust is chrome tipped and comes out of the side. You do get a full size spare tire. All models equipped with the 5.6 liter engine get the tow package. The max tow rating is 10,500 pounds, but drops to 9,800 pounds for the least capable configuration, which happens to be this setup. The tailgate is dampened. Inside you have nice amenities like these sliding ties. You also have some more metal ties down here. A factory bed liner is available for an extra charge. The Tundra has two sizes of fuel tanks. The SR and SR5 get 26.4 gallon tanks, and the rest of the trims get 38 gallon tanks. I won't go over each possible combination, but I will say our configuration gets a 570 mile fuel range. Both models run on regular unleaded fuel. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. All Tundra Platinums are outfitted with this black leather interior with white contrast stitching. You can get other interior colors depending on the trim. Sand beige and graphite are available on most Tundras, and the top end 1794 gets its own black and brown color combination. The door trim of the Platinum looks upscale. 
you have padded plastic right here. The front two windows are fully automatic. These two-person memory functions are standard on the Platinum and 1794. This quilted leather pattern is exclusive to the Platinum, and each Tundra gets its own look. These door sills come on the Platinum. Our Tundra has a 12-way power adjusting driver's seat. We also have power lumbar support and a thigh support adjustment. Leather comes on the limited and above. Getting into the Tundra is easy with these running boards, but they aren't standard on any trim. The interior of the Tundra feels extremely spacious, which is partially due to the great sight lines. The front windshield is huge, and the rear window is a solid pane. The whole thing does roll down by the way, which is pretty unique. This power tilt and slide moonroof is standard on the Platinum and 1794, and optional on the Limited. The material quality of the Tundra is more utilitarian than luxurious, but opting for higher trim levels does help out considerably. On models with leather seats, this area will be leather stitched, and ours has more of the unique platinum stitching pattern. Each trim gets branding here. All but the base model gets this 7 inch high resolution screen. The SR gets a smaller 6.1 inch display. Let's go ahead and start it up. The gauges on the Tundra are pretty good looking. Everything is clear, legible, and well laid out. You also have this 3.5 inch multi-information display standard on every model. It looks like we've only got one mile to empty, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off. All Tundras have hydraulic power steering, and this leather wrap steering wheel is standard on the Limited and above. The left side of the wheel controls the audio and volume controls. The right side has phone and voice controls, as well as the multifunction display button. Cruise control is standard equipment. To the right of the wheel you'll find many different controls. Here you can turn on or off the parking sensors, traction control, and activate the towing mode. You can also adjust the trailer brake here. Your wiper stock, and automatic headlight controls. Only the Platinum and 1794 will get this power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. There are even more controls over here like bed lighting, blind spot monitoring, and your rear window controls. As you would expect out of a full size pickup, storage space is not really an issue. Inside the leather armrest is an enormous amount of space. You could easily put a laptop or purse in here and you do also have a 12 volt power outlet. You even have these handy clips for those of you that use the Tundra for work. This area does not have wireless charging like you will find on the Sierra or Silverado. Up here you've got some more space and three large cup holders. Not to mention that there are two more located on each of the front doors. All Tundras except the 1794 get this shifter to control the 6-speed automatic transmission. 
On the 1794, you get wood trim on the shifter to match with the rest of the cabin. Up here are your four-wheel drive controls. Most Tundras get this simple automatic dual zone climate control. The SRs get a manual single zone setup. If you get one of the two high-end models, you get heated and ventilated front seats. The Limited gets just heated seats. Up here you've got a very simple to understand in-tune system. We also have the top of the line 12 speaker JBL audio system that comes on the Platinum and 1794 grades. Those grades and the Limited get integrated navigation standard, but the SR5 gets connected navigation which runs through your smartphone to the screen. If you want to learn more about the Intune system, we have provided a link in the description to our in-depth Toyota Intune Tech Help video. Every model gets a single disc CD player. There's a little grippy area up here. This auto dimming mirror comes on the limited and above. Here are your moonroof controls. Overall, the cabin of the Tundra is showing its age a little, but it is still spacious, versatile, and luxurious in this high-end trim. The seat and steering wheel move back to help with easier entry and exit. Let's go ahead and take a detailed look at the rest of the truck. Before we start, I'd like to remind you that we do have the full-size Crewmax configuration. The legroom, headroom, and door information will be different for other models. The material quality of the Tundra follows through into the rear, with the same leathers and soft plastics as the front. It's slightly padded where you rest your elbow, and the window is power. The rear also has these door sills. I'd also like to mention that the front door opens at an almost 90 degree angle, which is great for loading in large items. Up top you have some rear lighting and the headliner is very nice and soft. You also have an assist grip and coat hook. Both seats do have seat back pockets and our Tundra has these rear climate vents. Right in the middle you have a 12 volt power outlet. The center armrest is large and has two cup holders built in. I also really like this quilted pattern on the seats. It gives it a much more premium vibe than what you'd find on most other trucks. In the Tundra Crew Max, you'll find about as much space as what's in a Mercedes S-Class, 42.3 inches to be exact. That of course means you have an absolute ton of space, either with the seat adjusted all the way back, or for my 5'8 brother. Overall, the rear is extremely comfortable and pretty luxurious.
The Tundra does offer an easy folding up mechanism for the rear seats. Just pull on this lever and lift. This reveals tons of space for storage, and is great for big items that you want to keep out of the elements. The rear of the Tundra Crew Max is a good place to be, especially if you elect for the Platinum or 1794. You've got tons of space, and even if you get the double cab, it's still pretty spacious. The leather is also high quality on our Platinum. The passenger seat is comfortable and nice looking. You've got the quilted design and platinum is stamped in. The seat itself is power adjusting and even has power lumbar support. The dash is also leather wrapped and has silver trim below it. The glove box is quite large and dampened. Your sun visor does also have a mirror and light. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed this detailed look at the 2017 Toyota Tundra Platinum 4x4 Crew Max. Please stay tuned for the pricing information of this particular model, as well as the rest of the Tundra lineup. Please like and subscribe, and join us next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.